Hello, my name is Swan Park from Korea University. Our work is about reducing visual sickness by adding in optical flow information that is relevant to the visual motion of the VR content. So the, the perception of visual motion can be reduced. And so the sensor is matching with the vestibular sense. Simulate or VR sickness is a major problem in people adopting VR and using it for an extended period of time. It is caused by the sensory mismatch between the visual and vestibular sense. That is, why the human visual system thinks the environment is apparently moving, the user is actually stationary and detected by the vestibular sense. The completing signal between the two will cause various clinical symptoms, such as nausea, disorientation, and headaches. There have been some conventional methods to better VR sickness. These methods try to reduce the sensory mismatch by limiting the visual motion or limiting the visual stimulation. For example, by reducing the FOV or blurring the free failure visual field. It is also too possible to try to modulate the vestibular sense. For example, by making partial motion or directly stimulating the vestibular organ. We propose to add emotion in information in the opposite direction of the virtual navigation using the optical flow. Since visual motion is partially physiologically through the direction of optical flow of elements in the scene, we think that adding an artificial optical flow in the reverse direction of the motion can cancel out this perception at least physiologically. This will in turn ideally zero out the visual motion as well as the sensory complete with the vestibular. The figure shows in the left the actual flow scene in MED and the right the reverse flow is added in explicit. So how do we visualize this reverse flow? We propose that every short time intervals we extract visual pictures and over the next several frames compute the reverse flow by switching the before and after time parameters and add in the tray starting at the fixed locations of the extract pictures. Note that the pictures are only extracted once at the start of the time window and the locations fixed. The result is illustrated below. The picture extracted at the start of the window is the leftmost orange one. Then, as it moves, the reverse flow is computed but added in start at the fixed location of the picture. This is the overall system which operates online. The rendered image frame of the given content is preprocessed to be downsampled and converted to grayer level image. Then the algorithm is applied, line segments drawn and overlaid on the image frame. Let's see the video. Even though this is small FOV desktop video, Perhaps one might be able to appreciate the sickness reduction effect. We ran validation experience to see if the proposed method is effective error, which was the most important question in this work. We also had the factor by the motion type to see its relationship to the effect of the method. We also tried to reaffirm our leaders for the usual VR navigation content. So we conducted a similar experiment to for roller coaster simulate and colorless situation. Dependent variables were of course sickness level, user experience like presence in emergent. We also collected other data like self-reported level of sickness and motion profile data. Here are the main results. 
in the both experience, you see the thickness was significantly reduced in most thickness categories for all types of motion or content type. On the other hand, presence, emergence, or UX was worked significantly in the first experiment, but not so in the second experiment because the mixed in it was flow blended in better in the context. Note that in the first experiment with space exploration content, the white river flow line segments were much more distinct and eye catching. Here are some discussion points from our research. First, note that the thickness is reduced but not entirely. Reverse flow visualization is the only partial, that is, it is not for all visual pictures. This is due to the limitation that not all pictures are extracted or used. And proposed method was not so effective for the similar content. Reverse flow with respect to the ocean was not sufficient because not enough visual pictures were extracted from motion. Finally, machine in reverse flow is still somewhat invasive to original content. This problem has to be addressed in the future. In conclusion, we proposed to mix in reverse optical flow to original navigational content with vector and showed that it significantly reduced the VR sickness. To further reduce or eliminate thickness, we plan to consider using actual motion flow versus predicted optical flow and combine our method with others. For practical application, we also will consider pseudo reverse flow from camera motion, adaptively apply the method consider different visualization methods. Thank you for your attention.